Okay, so I haven't even bothered really looking at any of this. Uh, it's been a while since I did real-time live research. Well, relatively live. So I just simply got the links together. Looks like they've been around for about a week. So that's good. That price action looks pretty stable too. Uh, that includes the shares as well. Uh, interesting. Kind of interesting. Okay. Right, well, those are the shares. All right. So this is a tomb fork uh, on Phantom, of course. Uh, it just happens to be very. What is this? This doesn't even make sense. Okay. So I, I don't know what's going on here. This is just a little different. Well, it's very different. Also, I haven't done this in a while either, right? I mean, Team Forks are kind of out of style, too. I, at least I think they are. But all that being said, I still have, you know, people kind of asking about it. So, I mean, I guess people are still uh, searching for these things. Which is good, because obviously I need the content, because I really don't want to do NFTs. I know Renzo's been... Let me see. What's this thing again? Maybe Renzo. I don't know. Hey. This... Outback Finance. New Titano fork has been sold out. It's a pretty... No oh, so it's, these, it's got the Australian thing. Stealth launch. Uh, hi. Okay, so he's been finding some... Pro so actually, I need to steal content ideas from Renzo, because he's been covering some projects, too. Actually, he hasn't really been posting that many videos. Yeah, I don't blame him, because there's just nothing to cover. <clears throat> um... So this is five days ago. All right, so okay, I'm gonna actually add because I'm re I really need some content. So Outback Finance, Renzo Channel, and something called High Titano, Renzo Channel. I'm just gonna write that in my sticky notes because honestly, I'm just gonna for the next if I don't have any content, I'm just gonna cover these two Titano forks and of course anything that I happen to get. Yeah, he has. <clears throat> And I don't cover text finance because that thing is just way too freaking confusing. I don't even know what that is. It's just too much on there. So I'm like, whatever, someone else will cover it. Okay. And usually when you have something that complicated, the APR sucks anyway. Because it's obviously more about being stable and sustainable, which is great. But it's not for me. Because, you know, we want, we, want the, we want the high APR, high risk, high degen stuff. All right. Because that, that's what I want. All right. Because... How do you think I went from nothing to like where I'm at now, all right? High risk, high degen, all right? I lose a lot of money, but I gain way more than I lose. And the net effect of it is, you know, I make a shit ton more money. So, you know, so even a lucky cat phantom, for example, dies out. I don't, I mean, I mean I'll, actually, I'll be like, oh, all right, fine. Just another day at the office. It sucks, but I mean, whatever. I mean, I kind of expected it too, all right? Because, because let's say, because think of it this way, you have 10 losers, right? It's like dating. Yeah, you, you, you ask like 10 women out, right? Or maybe you're a girl and then, you know, you're, you, you, you encounter like 50 men, right? If you're a girl, you encounter 50 men, but one of them is the Prince Charming that you're looking for, someone like me. Ding! Right? You know, real alpha male, rich, tells you what to do doesn't take any of your shit, and he's like, okay, you know what, you know, go away if you're going to be a dumb bitch. And you're like, holy shit, he's the real guy, All right? Same thing with us men, right? You, 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 you ask out 10 girls, all it takes is one girl to say, okay, yeah, I'll wipe you up eventually, right? And then there you go, you live happily ever after. So, <clears throat> whatchamacallit, it's the same thing with investing, right? You have to kiss, like, you know, 10 shitty projects, but one of them is going to be Sphere. One of them is going to be... You know, baked beans. One of them is going to be, I guess, to a lesser degree, Titano, Web3, and Seifu, right? But you got to lose a lot of money and pretty much all your money in, like, the shitty projects. The problem is you don't know who is what. So how do you get around it? You put a fixed amount of money in each of these projects. Some will succeed. Some will fail. It's the exact same thing here in investing. Some, will, some stocks will succeed. Others will fail, all right? At least with the stock market, the thing doesn't really go to zero, you know? Uh, but, while well, it kind of essentially does, so the, so the super predators, you know, that exist in the stock market, but, which is also why I don't like stocks anyway, it's like the same risk and shit reward anyway, and on top of it, you gotta pay taxes and report everything, so it's like, why bother with stocks? I'm still going to eventually do stocks, but it's a very low priority, and obviously my offshore company at that time will be, uh, owning them too, so anyway... So, uh, so that was like a little bit of a, why did the camera do that? 
not supposed to do that. Or maybe it's just my eye being stupid. All right, <clears throat> that's just, but um, <clears throat> I, now I lost my train of thought because I have to drink water and then my thing got blurry. But well, 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 whatever. I mean, you just got to find the, like, you just don't know which one are the good projects, right? It really is a gamble. But when you do find the good projects, that's what sustains you. And then you'll have passive, more passive income. Then you can generate more bets, right? Because the idea is to keep finding sphere. Keep finding, what's a good stable tune for? I guess to a lesser degree, Dante Finance and America Money, and I guess Printer Financial, right? Even though they're all down. Because everything else is down in crypto. In fact, it's probably going to go down a lot more today, right now. <sighs> Fucking super predators. <clears throat> right? And, uh, you know, but you build a portfolio of what you hope or you think or generally believe are safe projects. Right? That's why. That's why this exists. All right? Right? That's why this exists. All right. To be honest, I kind of want to dump my Caesar and High Point and just put it all in all, like these minor projects, or even just. I mean, there's no point in me putting in a sphere. I already have enough sphere, right? But you know, I just leave it here. <clears throat> you know, maybe there's also a little bit of loyalty kind of thing going too, right? <clears throat> but I mean, what's what's my worst performing projects? Obviously, the Tomb Forks, right? It's just, it's just the Tomb Forks. So even if I lose all my money in the Tomb Forks, which so far has not happened because they haven't gone to zero, and it's still generating income for me, I mean I pretty much pulled out my initial already because I've been doing it for so for so long. So you know what do I really have? That's good. Obviously I have my Sphere, I have my Titano. I have a very, I only have like fifty or hundred. I don't know. I only have like a couple hundred bucks worth of Titano. I still have my Caesar. I did sell a substantial position on it because it keeps going down. Because the real problem is Sphere is actually eating away the lunch of all the other Titano forks. Printer Financial still generates a very nice stable daily income for me. All right, I'm not going to mention how much, right? even though it's down a lot. right? But this will bounce back when these fucking assholes are done uh, you know, screwing up crypto. <clears throat> you know, Right now, Code 7, Apex, and Hamster, especially Code 7. I don't know why Code 7 is under a lot of pressure, but I, I am going to assume it's because... They have not kept their promise about real estate or something went wrong. So for now, I'm letting this compound a little bit in Yield Wolf. Give it a few days, right? Let the tokens regenerate somewhat, and then I'll just pull out some more money again. You know, my Web3 position is doing very, very well, right? America money is down a lot, but, you know, Brando is fighting hard. And I've already pulled out a lot of money from America money. Not my whole initial yet, but still getting there. Uh, Piggy Finance, funny enough, still doing okay. Now the APR is close to zero, but at least it'll be sustainable-ish. High Point, I mean, I got it in the original, original, original whitelist, right? So I pulled out way more profit, right? And I still have a substantial amount of High Point, so that's free money. Liberal and Phantom Liberal, that's down a lot, but I pulled out some cash out of it and it's still printing money, right? So I got that. Uh, that doesn't count. I got my Milk Shiva. I'm still I mean, a lot of people have been competing against me in the PvP battle, so maybe they. <clears throat> so maybe that might mean more people are coming in. All right, and of course, you know, you got the minor projects here. Ruby Mine especially is doing well. Uh, this didn't get a lot of views. The Binance Dollar Lucky Cat, but this is actually very important. All right, this not only keeps going up, but it also protects you against shitty days like today. All right, because a dollar is a dollar is a dollar. All right. Also, it can beat uh, the savings on a on a bank account by far. <clears throat> and of course, I'm not in baked beans yet, but I will be eventually. Especially now that I see that Phantom Lucky Cat's going down, looks like I'll be uh, pumping some money into baked beans. You know, just for stability reasons, just in case all the Lucky Cats go down. All right. But Ruby Mine is kicking a lot of ass. So that's the point. You gotta build a portfolio like I'm doing, and I even tell you what I invest in and why. All right, I don't know how much easier I can make this for everybody, right? It's like, I don't want to sound harsh, but if after you encounter someone like me, you go through all this and you're still having money problems, I mean, the problem is actually you. It's like, maybe you weren't meant to be rich because for some reason you're just not willing to follow instructions, you know? And maybe you should just stick with your job, buy, buy some shitty stocks like the S&P 500, all right, spiders, right, SPY, 
you know, take it up the ass when the these asshole central bankers eventually implode the stock markets, if this chart would ever load, right? Uh, you know, it's a shitty way, but I mean, I don't know what else to tell you, because like, you're, you're just not, you're just not willing to do what is necessary to actually get rich, all right? Nobody taught me this. I had to figure this all out on my own, and I didn't even figure anything out. I had to ask God and Jesus Christ to tell me what to do, all right? I didn't go to college for this, all right? Who else does this shit, all right? Like, only a handful of people in the world, all right? And then we're, we're nice enough to, like, make these shitty YouTube videos, to, you know, teach you for fucking free, by the way, uh, so that you can become a rich, successful, retired asshole like myself. Maybe minus the asshole part. All right? I'm not really not an asshole. I just like to pretend to be an asshole because it's, I guess, entertaining. So, yeah, I mean, that's just how it goes, you know? Like, and again, that's why I don't like listening to people who blame, 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 and complain. Right? Whether it's with dating, or with money, or with anything. It's like, you're, you, you fucking loser, you know? It's like, yeah, it sucks to lose money, but, I mean, do you remember what it was like when you were dating? How did you get, how did you marry the current person you're with? Right? Well, you probably had to go through a lot of bullshit, too. Failure and losing is a part of life, right? Just like living and dying is a part of life. I mean, there's no point in complaining about it, right? Just, just learn your lesson and move on. All right, you know, because what do you think what would have happened if I just simply blamed Metaverse Pro and the devs for that shit, right? Holy, insane, and all of them, right? I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you, and I would probably, and I would probably be living on the street or living with my mom and dad. That's exactly what would happen. Or I could be like, you know what? I better figure out how to fix this problem. All right, Donald Trump was in the exact same situation I am in. Um, what do I do? And right? it's like, one of these days I'm gonna make the video on that. All right, but I'm going to wait until, well, I'm definitely going to be a multi-millionaire, especially because of Sphere, uh, but I probably will wait till I'm in Florida. I have my, you know, own home, whatever that's going to look like, and I probably want to make sure I've actually already have bought, you know, uh, commercial real estate, specifically apartment buildings. So, you know, it's going to be like worth one to two million dollars plus. I'll probably have to put down two hundred fifty thousand, three hundred thousand dollars, and of course the offshore company is going to own it, not me personally. So I don't have to. So I legally avoid taxes because I don't actually own anything, right? Someone else owns the stuff. <clears throat> so it's going to be very, very good. So anyway, I don't really care about this Project Bay Finance. I mean, the chart looks pretty good. Uh, let's just see what the daily APR is, and of course you're just going to be. Okay, what is this? Bay Tome T Swap. Uh, what? Okay, so they've got some kind of weird convoluted thing, but if I'm reading this right, jeez. Total supply ninety six thousand five hundred eighty six. This is their current supply. Okay. I'm going to assume this actually means their share rewards. So you have Bay Tome LP, you have Bay Phantom LP, then you have Tomb and T Swap LP. I don't know what this is. And of course, I can't do right click, and then of course, it does other things too. So you have a daily APR of 14.42%, so that makes a lot of money. Uh, you have Bay FTM which has a daily APR of 12%. So this is actually a pretty good tomb fork. This is actually very good. In fact, it's the best performing one so far. All right. Uh, 13 points. Okay, so I'm just going to, you know, I'm, I really want to save some space. So I'm just going to write uh, 12, 12 to 14% daily APR, you know, whatever. So this actually works really well. It's just a little confusing, especially this one with the three tokens. So I don't actually know how you're supposed to work this. Luckily, I don't have to figure it out because I'm not going to bother with it. And, of course, you got your, uh, you know, um, your your boardroom. So this is actually a really good project. You know, their their token does really well. Their share price, of course, does the standard thing and is pretty stable. But I assume, like all other Tomb Forks, it will eventually run into other problems, too. But uh, here are their Yield Wolf uh, returns. This is actually really good. 
I don't know, do I really want to buy another Tomb Fork, though? I mean, even though this is obviously very well performing, but, I mean, again, it's far above peg. You know, but obviously, I'm going to... It's pretty obvious to me that they're using the smart APR system, so I'm just going to... Even though I didn't bother looking at it, and based on this, assuming this power thing tells me that that's what it is, I think they might be using the smart APR system, but, I mean, again, I kind of just don't really care anymore, because I just don't want to deal with Tomb Forks. Um... But I might wind up eating my words, so this might... Uh, which one is the base... jeez. Oh, which one is the base token again? So you have Bay P, as in Peg, right? And then you have Bay itself, which is... Okay, the shares. So, for some strange reason, there's two of the same thing here. Oh, because one has a deposit fee and the other one does not. Well, I'd rather just do this one, though. Uh, the one without the deposit fee. And they are 14.29% day. So I actually need to change this. This is actually 13 to 15% daily APR. This is actually a lot of effing money. Uh, great. Yeah, but I'm I'm personally gonna pass. But maybe maybe if I get a burst of inspiration, maybe after a couple of weeks I'll take a look at this. I am fully expecting these numbers to go down because that's what always happens with Tomb Forks. But with that being said, they obviously know what they're doing and doing very well, and they've already been out for like a week. And they've actually had some pretty stable price action in their peg token too. So and I imagine they're definitely using the smart. I'm gonna say they're using the smart APR system. Jesus Christ. Yeah, let's just do the effing work. Alright, let's just let's just find out. Okay, but I'm pretty sure that is their to so because the thing is, okay, so they're so four and a half percent uh inflation. Okay, here we go. Okay, so that is their share rewards, okay. So they are using a smart APR system for sure, because even though the peg token and the share token li liquidity pools are the same, these extra pools actually have quite a bit of, uh, you know, have quite a bit of bay P's, which is the peg token. So they're definitely using a smart APR system. It's not 2.0 though, because, you know, four and this is way too much, you know, four and a half percent. And it's four and a half percent up until five hundred thousand tokens, and then at, and then from five hundred k to one million, it's four percent. This is just too much. So I'm just gonna wait. You know, even though it's probably pretty good now to get in on it, but I just don't care enough. It's like whatever. I mean, that's the problem with Sphere, right? It's just making me complacent. But you know, I'm I'm like my standards are now very very high, right? My standards are very very high because again, I'd rather have minor projects. In fact, it's be I'd rather have a stable 3% return on baked beans. I say 3% because baked beans takes like 5% developer fee. All right. And then I don't have to worry about, you know, price risk beyond super predators. So baked beans is what? BNB. Yeah. So, so I'm making 3% of my Binance coin. So I don't even have to care that much anymore. So... Um, but yeah, well, that being said, if you are like Renzo and you can play the shares, you know, this, this isn't, the share price isn't that bad, even though it's still going to be too, eventually this is going to go down a lot too, probably in my opinion, because that's what we've always seen, you know, and you can still earn a very good daily return. Me, whatever, I, I don't even care anymore. I'm just, I, I want to keep my, I want, I actually want safety of capital now, right? That's really what I want. That's why I'm also pretty big on. Binance dollar lucky cap, right? Because, you know, I want something, I actually want something like that, but preferably from another project that min that actually is much larger TVL. But, you know, Binance dollar lucky cat still doing pretty well. So let me check real quick. Uh, let me swap over to BSC here. Yeah, it's gone up. Now it's at $83,397. In fact, every time I check uh, Binance Dollar Lucky Cat, it keeps going up. Like, I, I, I saw that a, a lot of people did not watch that video. You really need to watch that video because you want something safe and stable, right? Because, look, what the stuff that we do is very, very high risk, right? 
So you need a little, you need stability to balance things out. So don't sleep on Binance Dollar Lucky Cat. I would actually prioritize that over Binance Coin Lucky Cat, which also does pretty well, simply because Binance Dollar Lucky Cat is the one that actually has a 5% fee, all right? 8% return, but 5% fee. So the differential is actually 3%, which is actually what BNB Miner uses. And they've been around for 14 months now, 13, 14 months. So, <clears throat> all right. Anyway, I'm done for the day. I'm going to keep this video short. I've got a lot of content to catch up on, and I need to find out more about the Elon Musk thing. And on top of that, I also want to oversee my cryptocurrency positions because Obviously, as you can tell from the playlist, I have quite a lot. So, you know, I, I don't plan on removing any projects, right? Because I already removed Phantom Lucky Cat already because that thing's kind of seemingly having problems. And I'm going to also try to investigate the whole six-day compound, one-day withdraw a week thing, and then your daily APR goes down. I don't know. I have to kind of find out if that's actually a thing because I, I really just don't know. I, I really just don't know. All right, I'll see you uh, probably in a few days. So I'm taking Sunday, but definitely by Monday. I'm taking I'm taking Friday off. I'm taking Saturday off because I got to do something on Saturday with the family, right? And Sunday, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. But launches are pretty dry right now, so try not to force anything. Um, and then, yeah, thanks to Renzo, he's provided us with two new projects to talk about, which is Outback Finance and Titano. Or something, I think, something called High. I don't know. I'll, I'll worry about it then. So, like, subscribe, share the video, spread the channel around, right? Because again, the stronger I can get, the more likely I can kind of try to do something about this bullshit. All right, the super predators. Um, and of course, check out Bay Finance. It's a very solid-looking project, but of course, it's Toon Fork, and nowadays I kind of just don't really care. And of course, they're on Yield Wolves and. Because I got this from Yield Wolf's Discord, so this is obviously a very legit project, and they've obviously had to renounce one of the contracts. So you know, whatever. Anyway, thanks. And uh, let's see, this was what 12 to 15 percent daily APR. That's what I'll just write for the YouTube video uh, title. All right. All right. See you in a few days. Thanks.